DIY with Nancy. Today I'm going to be making my granola fruit tart with mascarpone filling. Mmm, 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 so good and delicious. It's a delight to have any time of the day. You can have it for dessert or for breakfast. And I'm going to show you how to make my recipe for granola fruit tart with mascarpone filling step by step. Let's get started by placing two cups of granola in the food processor. And you can see they're formed in clusters and I want to break down those clusters and make the granola a little finer. I'll be grinding the granola in the food processor for about 20 seconds. After 20 seconds of grinding, you'll see you'll still end up with some chunks of the granola. It's not a fine flour. Now at this point, before we start with the granola mixture, you want to make sure your oven is preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And we're going to start off with the granola mixture. We're going to place the granola into a bowl. Place that aside. And to that, we're going to add a third cup of liquid honey. Next, I'm adding a quarter cup of canola oil. So I'm going to place that right into the mixture together with the honey and the granola. And I'm adding one teaspoon of vanilla extract and that's it for the ingredients for the granola. Now I'm going to mix this together and I want to generally make sure that the oil, the vanilla and the honey thoroughly coats the granola oats. Hey, that rhymes. But you want to make sure it's well coated. So mix it until it comes together nicely. Now once you see that your granola oats are evenly coated, we're going to set that aside. I'm using a six cup muffin pan, which I have greased. And all I used is some simple baking spray. I've sprayed it into the cupcake tins there. And you can see that they're all greased. And now at this point, I'm simply going to divide the granola into the six muffin tins. And I'm going to be using a ice cream scoop to do that. If you don't have an ice cream scoop, by all means, just use a regular spoon. Now for this next step, I'm going to be using a flat bottom shot glass. And what that's going to help me do is press the granola down to the bottom and up the sides evenly throughout the muffin tin. Now for this step, you can also use a teaspoon. You just want to make sure you oil the bottom of your shot glass or the spoon that you're using so the granola doesn't stick to it. Now you can see that I have the little tarts formed. I've placed a hole in the middle enough to place some filling and I'm just going back and reshaping the edges of the tart before I place it in the oven. Now you don't have to shape the tarts perfectly because when you remove it from the oven, you're going to have to reshape them again. Now while you're shaping your granola tarts just on the top, make sure the edges are nice and straight. You can dip your fingers into some canola oil to avoid the granola from sticking to your fingers. Just a little tip. The granola tarts are ready to go into the oven. I'm going to bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes or until you see the edges are lightly golden. I removed the granola tarts out of the oven immediately after I have here one teaspoon of canola oil and we're going to reshape them. I have here also a piece of paper towel and I'm taking the shot glass, dipping it into the canola oil and I'm going to be using the paper towel to just dab it and place it while they're still hot in the center of the tart. And you're just reshaping the tart to make sure it has an indentation in the middle. That way you have room to place your filling. And they do tend to puff out while they're in the oven. Now when you're reshaping it, be very careful, they're hot, and remove any excess of the granola that's on the shot glass so it doesn't stick to the next granola tart. Once I've reshaped the granola tarts, I'm going to allow them to completely cool 
in the tray before removing them. Now while the tarts are cooling, we're going to move on to the next step and that's the filling. I'm going to start off with 3 quarter cups of mascarpone cheese. Place that into the mixing bowl and I'm going to add the mixing attachment. Now I'm going to place the mixer on a low to medium speed and while the mixer is still mixing, I'm going to add the balance of the ingredients. Now to the mascarpone cheese, I'm going to add a quarter cup of whipping cream, 35%. And now for sweetness, I'm going to add two tablespoons of maple syrup, add that in there, and one teaspoon of vanilla sugar. Now once you add your vanilla sugar, you're going to place your mixer on high speed and let it mix for an additional 15 seconds. And just like that, the mascarpone filling is ready. Now I have two ways of removing the tarts from the pan. One, using a paring knife, just removing it on the edges and you can see it loosely comes apart. And look at that, nice and crispy, golden, just perfect. And you see the bottom there? That's exactly what you want your tart looking like. And now the other way of removing the tart is just gently pressing it down and turning it. And there you have it. It comes out easily. So now you just want to make sure they're completely cooled before you remove them from the cupcake pan. Now I let the granola tarts cool for about 30 minutes. Now for the next step, we're ready to place the mascarpone filling in the granola tarts. Now using an ice cream scoop, I'm going to fill each granola tart with a generous amount of mascarpone filling and then smooth it out evenly. Now once you've filled your granola tarts, you want to make sure that you smooth out the mascarpone filling evenly on the top. So just using a teaspoon, I'm just spreading it out evenly. And finally, I'm going to top the granola mascarpone tarts with some fresh fruit. I have strawberries, kiwis blueberries, and blackberries. Now I'm going to try to make it colorful, so I'm going to add a strawberry and then a blackberry. Uh, just place that anywhere on there. Some kiwi. And place it anywhere you like. Decorate it however you like. And I'm placing some blueberries as well. Now you can also use other fruit, whatever fruit you have in season or that you find at your local grocery store. But in the end of the day, you just want to make sure that you have some colorful fruit on your mascarpone tarts. And I'm going to continue filling them with the fruit. And here you have it. The granola fruit tarts with mascarpone filling is ready to be served. Now I'm ready to dig in. I break that apart. See that mascarpone with the crunchy granola and the fresh fruit. Look at that. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. And I can't wait to bite in, so I'm going to do that now. Oh my gosh. So good. Absolutely delightful and refreshing. And there you have it everyone. That was my granola fruit tart with mascarpone filling. Delight to have. You can have it for breakfast or you can have it for a dessert. It's so refreshing and easy to make. I hope you all enjoyed the recipe today. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time everyone, thanks so much for watching. Take care. <music>